We are going to be talking about Awatuki today, one of the best kept secrets that the Phoenix Metro community has to offer. It's also one of the best kept gyms. If you guys are looking to move here, you're not sure what area is best for you, you're not sure how to get the process started on purchasing a home here in Arizona, and you're kind of scared about the relocation process, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. I am here to help serve and support you at the highest possible level. I'm helping people move here every single day from all over the US. So if you're looking to move here, give me a call. I'll help guide you throughout that process. But let's get into this video. Let's talk about Awatuki because I'm ready to share this secret with you guys. So we are nestled out here in Maricopa County in the Phoenix Metro at the south end of Phoenix Metro, you guys. And the closest highways to Ahwatukee is gonna be the I-10 and the 202. Now, you guys, if you're looking to move out here, you have to know how to say Ahwatukee. It's not Awatu. It's not Ahwatukee. It's Aw, wa so Aw, A-W-E, wa w a two. T O O K E K E Y. It's Awatuki. Awatuki. So it is one of the best communities here. So if you're looking for a quaint neighborhood with spectacular views, very safe, family friendly community, just a drive to entertainment and an exciting nightlife, guess what? This is the spot for you because you're so close to Chandler, you're so close to Tempe, you're so close to downtown Phoenix. It is pretty freaking insane. If you're looking for an outdoor lifestyle, this may just be it, you guys, because they have outdoor concerts out here. They have an Easter day parade. There's so much extravagant outdoors activities and you guys can spend all day at Desert Hills Park and spend the entire day there with the family. I've been here pretty much all day today showing homes and I've just been driving up and down this community. I've been seeing families on bicycles. I'm seeing kids having a blast playing soccer, playing volleyball on their neighborhoods. I'm seeing runners going up and down the street and bicyclists and dogs in the dog park. Like this is such a vibrant, lively community. I have haven't seen much like this anywhere else. So here in Awatuki, you not only just get South Mountain Trailheads, which is a ton of trails, but you get the Desert Foothills Trail as well. So here it is, it's a lot, you get a lot of trails out here, you guys, and there's cars aligned along the roads for quite some time actually. And there's just people going in and going out literally all day long. If I turn this around and you guys can see right over there, Right over here, this is South Mountain. Those are the red lights that you guys see on top of a mountain when you guys come here to Arizona. Those are the <laughs> the electrical towers on top of South Mountain. So anywhere in the valley that you guys are at, you guys will be able to see those red lights on top of the mountain. If you see those red lights, you know that it's South Mountain and that should be able to help you, you know, figure out where you're at in the valley. <laughs> I don't know why it was a great decision to walk out here in Kiehl's, but I decided to do that to show you exactly what this community has to offer. I'm just on the side of the road right now. It is so beautiful out here. Look at all these wildflowers. These are all over Arizona, but Awatuki is just blooming with them. Now, one con about living in a mountain like this is rattlesnakes. <laughs> and scorpions and spiders and stuff because you're in their habitat, you're on their mountain. But you guys, that's nothing too crazy to worry about because they're not here this time of year. They're usually come out in the summer. And guess what? In the middle of the summer, it's usually too hot for them anyways, but <laughs> it is what it is. Now here in Awatuki, you don't just have Awatuki, but you also have Awatuki Foothills. Now Awatuki Foothills is a little bit newer. They came up in the nineties, okay? Now if you tell me, Kim, that is not new, that is old, we're not speaking anymore, okay? <laughs> We're, it is not old, guys. The 90s is not old yet, okay? Don't make me cry. So even though these homes are built in the 90s, it's, it's not old, okay? It is so well kept. The homes out here are so well kept because Awatuki was raised was brought up at a certain standard. It is one of the luxurious areas to live here in the Phoenix Metro. So when they were built, they had to maintain a certain standard and they've maintained that standard for years <laughs> since they've been built. That's why this place is still so highly desired. And that's why so many people are loving it here still. There's families who have lived here for generations and generations not generations and generations, but there's families that have lived here since the 90s and they still own their homes and their families and the kids are coming out here. They purchase properties. There's a reason why this 
community has also been a hidden gem because it, it is so it's so perfect in a lot of people's eyes so this is a hidden gem in a local kept secret here in arizona and the resident population out here is about eighty four thousand. it is a suburban area but even though most of the homes out here are single family homes you do have condos and apartments and townhomes out here in Ahwatukee as well very small amount i think there's only like four or five communities out here but it's it's still a spectacular place to live. Here in this community, you not only just get mountain views, but there are a ton of lake views as well. So you guys have a good choice of exactly what you're wanting. Now, the lake views, I can tell you right now, those are pretty far and few between, but if you are lucky, there may be one on the market for sale when the time comes. The thing about this community, you guys, is most of the neighborhoods here are gated communities. So you're looking at a very safe community here in the Ahwatukee area. Now, the types of people that live here, you get a lot of retirees, but you also get generational families living here as well. There's a ton of families with kids because the school districts out here are pretty spectacular to say the least. We are in the neighborhood called the Terraces right now, and it is very beautiful, very clean, and it's actually like so beautiful. Okay. I've seen plenty of homes here in Maricopa County, but Ahwatukee may be the absolute best. It is so clean, so beautiful. The homes look well manicured, the lawns look kept up. This community is spectacular. Look at these mountain views. Believe it or not, you guys, not every realtor in Arizona has been through every single neighborhood, and I just got lost. So I'm trying to find my way out of this Ahwatukee area, so I have to pull up my Google Maps. Now these homes up here are in the millions. Although Ahwatukee may not be considered the most expensive area to live in the Phoenix Metro, its housing is over 10% higher than the Phoenix area as a whole. So the cost of living out here in Ahwatukee, you're looking at the average home price to be about $525,000 for a single family home. Now if you're looking for an apartment or a condo out here in this stunning master plan community, now you're looking at a starting point of $250,000. Now keep in mind you guys, the market always changes. So this price point could be different in the next couple years. But as of right now, average home price for a single family home is around that $525,000. Going up into the highest price home in the Ahwatukee area right now is listed at $2.3 million. So now if you're wanting something lower, which most of us are, now if you're wanting something lower priced, you're going to be looking at the single family homes or a condo, which the lowest condo right now is listed at $250,000. So Ahwatukee, if you guys can see here, is on the south end of South Phoenix, the south end of South Mountain, like I said, but the two major freeways that you guys have coming through here is the I-10 and the 202. The I-10 and the 202 will take you directly back to the I- <laughs> The 202 will take you directly to the I-10, and the 202 and the I-10 will also take you directly to Chandler, Tempe, Gilbert, and uh, the North Phoenix areas. Now on top of how beautiful this community is, like I have not seen a community that is this clean before, you guys. I keep saying that, but it is, it is, it's just so well taken care of and there's so many people walking around but on top of all of the activities to do outdoors there's a bunch of restaurants there's a bunch of shops there's a lot of mom and pop shops out here you have the easter parade every year you have concerts in the park you have a lighting ceremony and so much more on top of the community center so you guys will not be bored when you move here to Ahwatukee. there's just so much to do and it's just a huge bang for the buck you get the quiet community you get the very safe feel out here in Ahwatukee. And look at these statistics on all of this as well because things could change, right? What I'm saying now could be completely different in the next couple years from now. But Ahwatukee is definitely one of the spots that if you guys are looking for a quiet community that has mountain views, that has lake views, that has beautiful outdoor activities for you and the family and great schools, <laughs> I mean, it just has it all. It is a gym, like I said. Definitely do your research, look into it, let me know. If you guys are looking to move here to Arizona, you're not sure what area is best for you, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. I am here to help serve and support you at the highest possible level.